Hi paper crafting friends. My name is Twyla Davis from over at stampalittlelonger.blogspot.com and I'm here doing a video tutorial today for Split Coast Stampers on how to make a some fun little hot cocoa pockets from a business size envelope. Super quick and easy, okay? So let's let's go over what we need. We're going to need a business size envelope. We're going to need some pretty pattern paper. We're going to need some corresponding coordinating uh, cardstock, uh, some ribbon, some ribbon if you want. You'll need a stamp, an ink, some ink, um, a paper trimmer, um, hot cocoa, and maybe a spoon. Okay, so let's get started and see what we come up with. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a business size envelope and you're going to seal it shut. So you might stick it shut or you might lick it shut. I don't know what kind of envelope you have. They also come in colored envelopes. You can also buy colored envelopes too um, if you would rather do that. So my envelope, I'm going to measure it and make sure how wide it is and mine measures um, four and an eighth wide. So I want this to be square so I am going to cut it on the long side at four and an eighth and then I'm going to turn it around and cut it from the other side at four and an eighth. Okay, so this gives me two pockets to work with. I'll set this aside. Okay, now we're going to need a couple of pieces of pattern paper, and I'm using Stampin' Up! Um, some of our gnome paper that we had. We're just going to work with one pocket right now. So let's see, okay. So these squares are going to be 3 and 15 sixteenths. And we're going to just glue these to the pocket. Making sure if your paper is just um, one way, if the design just goes one way, you want to make sure that your pocket is at the top and your paper is going that way. I like to use the mono liquid glue a lot of the times when I'm doing my 3D projects. Okay, so here's the basic thing. Then you're going to go ahead and add your hot cocoa pocket, no, a packet, good grief, hot cocoa packet, and your spoon before you tie your ribbon around it, okay? Because this, it makes it bulkier, so you want your you don't want your ribbon too tight when you go to stick it in there, okay? A uh, 20 inch, 20 inch piece of ribbon. We'll tie it in a bow, maybe. Hopefully. Success. Okay, you can trim that with your scissors. So it looks like that. Now you could quit at this point if you want, even, but we're going to um, add a little saying. So I'm going to step a saying from Fancy Phrases. I am, I'm also using Stepping Up products today because I am a Stepping Up demonstrator. We're going to use a retired one and three four circle punch. Punch that out. Then we're also going to use um, a label me pretty punch to back that with. And you can use a punch of your choice, a saying of your choice. But since it's after um, Christmas, I was just looking for little. Little something I would try to find like um something about a warm and toasty treat for you, but I don't know, I couldn't find that. I got ink on my fingers too. Okay, let's bring this back in. Now you could use dimensionals, or I'm just gonna add glue to the top and the bottom of this. And 
your packet is done. And when you put it in, a little cello bag makes just a really nice little gift. You could also put some money in there, too, or a gift card. Just like that. Okay, now we have one more um, one more side. So let's go ahead and fix this one. Now let's do this one a little bit different, okay? So we're going to use some colored card stock, some Pacific Point, and we're cutting it at um, the 3 and 15 sixteenths, and we're going to layer it. And then we're going to cut a piece of designer paper or pattern paper at 3 and a fourth to just add another little layer to it. Okay, I'm going to do that to the back. See how I just, this is just so simple and easy. It's just crazy how, how easy this is. Okay, get you a piece of ribbon. Nope, let's get our, let's put our cocoa in there, cocoa packet. And now for this one, I dipped, I just dipped a spoon in some chocolate and sprinkle, put some sprinkles on it. I know you can buy those spoons, chocolate spoons or whatever. I thought, hey, we'll do that. Tie our bow. And like I say, bows are optional. Ribbons optional. Okay, then we got our saying here. Glue top and bottom. And what we did two hot cocoa packets in I don't know five or six minutes not too much right my grandson Cade helped me make some of these for Christmas and um, when we went Christmas caroling and I will show you one that we did too Christmas time because it's cute to add a candy cane to it. So here's the two we did today, okay? And then here's the one that we did at Christmas time. Have a sweet Christmas and then we stuck a candy cane in it. So there's just all different all different ways you can make those. So um, I hope you'll give it a try and I'm excited and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks and have a great day.